graduated from West Central in 06, and then right after I graduated high school, I joined the Army, and then they sent me to basic training, and after that, um, they assigned me to the 82nd Airborne Division out of Fort Bragg. And the first thing I did with them was go straight to Afghanistan. I was there maybe 30 days, and we were downrange in Afghanistan. And um, I spent 30 months there all together, came home, uh, was pretty agnostic after that. You know, I had a lot of anger and resentment, and I had been really hardened in that time. And the same time I got out, I was going through a divorce, so I was in a pretty uh, negative place, real dark place in my walk. I moved in with my dad, and that's when I started coming here to Joy Church in 2018. And I remember coming to a service from, uh, it was a guest speaker, Pastor Ben from Florida. I came to one of his, and it was all about grabbing the net. It was, uh, I think it was called, we're gonna need a bigger net. I was like, man, let me grab this net and just see what happens. And so that's when I did my taste of joy and my step into joy, and I started serving. And then I lost uh, both my grandfathers and my father in the same year. They all passed away uh, back to back, and that, uh, took a few more steps back. Uh, all the COVID stuff happened and I didn't really know. You couldn't come to church no more. I didn't really know what I was gonna do. And I was just kinda sitting in my house and I'd been introduced to Keith Faust right before that. And uh, he said, hey man, here's my number. If you ever wanna, you know, do something or whatever, just let me know. I, well, I called him, I said, hey, you got anything that needs to be done around the church? And he was like, you kidding? I was like, no, I just wanna, you know, see what you guys need help with. And he was like, Heck yeah, man, I always got stuff to need doing. And so he had me come in and all I did was just, um, they call it cable management. I would just clean up his wires. Like he had this computer set up over here. I will just clean up the cables. That's when the live stream stuff was really still new. You don't really realize how many people tune into that stuff until you sit back there and you see the numbers and just how far the word goes. And it's just really amazing. Where my perspective really changed on, you know, what I was doing here at church. And because that was a big deal to me, you know, you're enabling Pastor Jim to, you know, do his thing and his anointing and all that. And if you mess up, everybody sees it and you could throw him off his flow and all that stuff. So it was just really humbling to be able to be a part of that. And, you know, through all my stuff, I knew that God was using me to do something bigger. When I first started coming, I heard a lot of stuff about people saying, um, you know, take the next step, go all in, go all in. And then to me, I was like, well, I didn't really understand that because, you know, you come to church and you think that's, you know, checking the block or doing your thing, but going all in is really just giving it all to God, giving Him, you know, your time, your attention, your effort. I'd been coming here for a while and you hear people talking about, oh, this guy's on fire for the Lord. This guy's on fire for the Lord. You know, this guy's on, I was like, man, what? how do you get that how do you get there and then it hit me and i was like well it's just like any other fire you got to feed it so like how do you feed it well you you come on wednesdays you come on wednesday services you come on saturday services um you know it's like everyone is like a log you know because i had to change what i listened to i had to change you know you have to change your lifestyle i started doing the first 15 um reading worshiping and then meditating on the word and prayer and things like that and everyone was just like a log and as you throw them on there it got hotter and hotter and brighter and that's how i could really just tell that you know going all in was really working for me mm -hmm.